So for this video, we're going to take a look at the points P, which is 3, negative 8, and the point Q, which is negative 2, 5, and we're going to do two different things with it. For example, A, we're going to use the distance formula to find the exact distance between P and Q, and I have the distance formula right over here. And for example, B, we're going to find the midpoint of the line segment whose endpoints are P and Q. Alright, so if you wanted to get a visual of this, you could plot the points 3, negative 8, and negative 2, 5 on a graph just to kind of see where they're at. But we want to find the exact distance, how long this line is. And then we also want to find the midpoint of this segment here. So, uh, for, the distance, uh, for the distance formula here, we have distance is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So the first thing I'm going to do here is label the points that we have. The point P, I'm just going to call this our first point. So I'm going to say that this is x1, y1. And then point Q, I'm going to call this our second point. So it's going to be x2, y2. And I'm going to plug directly into the distance formula with the points I just labeled. So the distance formula says the square root of x2 minus x1. x2 is negative 2. Minus is part of the formula. x1 is 3. And we're going to square that. Plus y2 minus y1. y2 is 5. Minus y1 is negative 8. And then we're going to square that. So now all we really have to do is do some cleanup with this problem here. So underneath the square root, so let's take a care of the subtraction inside here. All right, so that's what we're going to do with this step here. We're just going to take care of the subtraction. For our first subtraction, negative 2 minus 3 gives us a negative 5. And 5 minus negative 8 gives us a 13 when we do that. Okay, now, uh, oh, uh, I forgot the squares on here. So our next step then, we need to square each one of these numbers. Negative 5 squared, so that's negative 5 times negative 5, which is 25, plus 13 squared, so that's 13 times 13, which is 169. And when we add these together, 25 plus 169 is equal to 194. We're left with the square root of 194, which actually can't be simplified. If you want to go ahead and plug that into your calculator to get an idea of about what that's going to equal, but your exact, your exact uh, distance is going to be the square root of 194. So that's what the distance between these two points are. Over to B, this is going to be our midpoint formula here. So our midpoint is x1 plus x2 divided by 2 y1 plus y2 divided by 2. So you take your two x values, divide them in half, take your two y values, divide them in half, and that's going to give you exactly smack in the middle of that line segment. So we're using the same points here. So let's see, x1 plus x2. x1 is 3 plus x2 is negative 2, and we'll divide that by 2. y1 plus y2, so y1 is a negative 8, plus y2 is 5 and we'll divide that by 2. So in our numerators here, 3 plus negative 2 is a 1, and that goes over 2. Negative 8 plus 5 is a negative 3, and that goes over 2. So this is actually your midpoint here. Your midpoint is 1 half, comma 3 half. So 1 half is your x value, negative 3 halves is your y value for the point that would be directly in the center of that midpoint. Otherwise, that's it for this video.